Is the world falling apart? Or are we just having a bad nightmare? Welcome to Hawaii Preppers Network 808. There's so many threats going on now in this now moment globally as well as within the United States with our border literally free and wide open for all types of hooligans coming through, terrorists included, we need to be on guard and on watch at all times. And the FBI has also warned us that China's preparations for disruptive infrastructure attacks, that's very serious because who knows where all of these terrorists that have gone through the borders have positioned themselves strategically across the United States. They will more than likely attack the electric grid as well as gas, probably the water grid as well. But the electric grid is connected to the water grid, but they might contaminate the water. So that's a huge threat that we face. And these threats can take place at any given moment with all of the wars that are occurring at this time with Israel and Iran and you have Ukraine and Russia. Just look at it this way. We're pretty much involved in all of these wars. So that makes the United States a huge target. And I believe we were a target to begin with these wars just escalates the target and makes us a huge bullseye since we're involved in all of these things. And just a few days ago, a couple days ago, um, Secretary Mallorca was going into an impeachment trial. Now that has been dismissed. The votes were 49 to 51. And you know the Democrats voted not to impeach him, but it wasn't much of a trial. Basically, all they did was vote. There was no talk, no discussion from either side, the right end or the left. No one discussed anything. And so they dismissed everything. Um, this is really, really bad, guys. This is not fear mongering or fear porn. This is more getting into that space of amping your preps, being more prepared, focusing on practicing those skills with not just yourself, but your family members as well. Making sure you have all your bases covered, whether it's food storage, whether it's emergency funds, you know, cash on hand in case the grid does go down and the ATMs and banks won't be open. Nobody will be open and if there are any shops that will be open, the only thing they'll be accepting is cash because there's no electricity. Another good thing that I think everyone should begin to implement and start establishing is bartering. Now, you can barter anything and everything, uh, whether it's bartering your gold and silver for, you know, much needed items, food, maybe matches, maybe toilet paper, you know, anything really, um, you should start jumping on that wagon and start bartering and establishing that um, barterability with either your neighbors, friends, co-workers, as well as your family members. It doesn't hurt to barter and trade for items that you need and or maybe you don't need, you know. Uh, much needed items, I would think, would be the best. And I've done bartering through the years and I do have a few people, friends, neighbors, that I barter with on a regular basis. So I've basically established that barterability with them ahead of time, just in case in the event that something goes down 
and oh we could you know meet up and um, barter barter whatever we need from each other so i think that would be something really great to start implementing and establishing now ahead of time and there's just too much things that are going on right now and too many um too many crazy things that are happening you know we're witnessing things collapsing and you know in the beginning it was like a slow drip type of collapse but now i'm sensing and seeing things pick up a little more quicker than usual the changes are occurring faster and faster by the day and so when i hear of read about see things going on and the escalation of things i go back and check on my stocks make sure i have the necessary items that i do need double check on anything that expired uh maybe refill restock on some of the things that i got low or have been low um, and, and i just re-fortify my stocks on hand without panicking without hoarding um, panicking and hoarding is something that those that have not prepared do and we've seen that already occur in 2020 so you don't want to be in that space as well as in those places if and when that starts all over again I think now during this time um, most of us are more than likely on high alert with everything going on globally not just in our states not just in our countries and by all means you know that I, I believe everyone should be on high alert keeping their eyes and ears peeled and their head on a swivel at all times as much prepared as we all can be we must also remember and remind ourselves that we need to prepare mentally emotionally physically as well as spiritually and another one financially you know so we need to be able to focus and think with the greatest of clarity have a clear head on our shoulders as well as much as we possibly can and we need to practice all of these things too and practice our skills as well and before i forget never forget about the pets we need to prepare for those furry animals feathered animals scaled animals as well with their much needed food supplies medical supplies if they need medical supplies just in case treats and everything else that they would need for themselves as well so don't forget the pets yes so i was reminded by my cat to not forget to talk about pets as well and she's here right now with me making those sounds I'm glad she's not walking across the keyboard right now now I know inflation is high and I know a lot of people are tight on funds for a lot of things but there's a lot of different ways to um, acquire and get e either food or whatever emergency supplies that are needed and you can do that by way of bartering and or you could also you know clear up some space in your home by selling items that have been sitting in your closet that you no longer need and or want um, there's always someone out there that is willing to buy it uh, so everyone's looking for anything and everything during this time and not everyone is wide awake to what's going on and they're stuck in whatever reality of buying collections of this and collections of that so you can always always uh, create and make extra funds during this time and any time and I've been doing that continuously 
um, you know, if, if there's a need for something that I have to remove and clear up space in my house that someone may want and or need, then I'm willing to let it go and sell it. It has no value to me. The only thing that does have value to me is my gold and silver. That is the most valuable item that I have that I can barter with. I can trade and liquidate in the event that I would need to do so at any given moment. So this is about it guys and gals. So if you have anything to add to this post, please do so at the bottom in the comments. I'd be really happy and that would help out our community as well. Hope you're having a wonderful rest of your Sunday and a fabulous week ahead of you. Keep your heads on a swivel and keep preparing. Aloha.